Another one, Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz. Thank you very much for joining us for our special weather update, tracking Cyclone Yasa, and also the long range forecast for New Zealand right up until Christmas Day. Let's kick off with the satellite map, and this is the visible satellite map. Uh, you can see the sun rising up this morning and the eye of Yasa there over the island group southeast of Vanua Levu. The uh, storm came through overnight. It's been moving through quite fast, so that's the biggest positive that I can find. Um, well, there are a couple of positives. One's that it's moving quite fast, and the other is that because it went further to the east, which was worse news for Vanua Levu, it did mean that there, uh, over on uh, Viti Levu, the weather wasn't quite as bad as originally forecast, uh, especially on the western and southwestern sides. On the eastern side, still very wet and windy, but as that cyclone moves further away uh, from those two main islands, the weather will ease. And as you can see to the north on the satellite map, doesn't look quite so bad out there. Let's look at this though, the animated wind map, and this is still a very serious uh, cyclone. We don't like using the word downgraded when it's dropped down a category because it makes you think in your head that it's, oh, it's not a, not a thing anymore. This is still a major cyclone. Uh, the winds are gusting to 260 kilometers an hour, and the central air pressure is 920 hectopascals at the time we recorded this. Now it is going to weaken as it goes further south and pulls down to this area. Uh, the cooler sea temperatures will be one of the main reasons for that, but also high pressure, which is in the New Zealand area. Here's the tracking, the latest one from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. So as you can see, moving quite a bit further east. I said yesterday it's a little bit like a car going around a corner too fast and losing its grip, and it's sort of skidding further out. Now because of that, Tonga has increasingly been more exposed in each update to severe weather. Now at this stage, the worst weather is right here in the middle, inside this little uh, pink line, this pink circle. Outside of that, you've got damaging winds, and then beyond that, these are the usual sort of gales that we get from time to time, not as destructive. So hopefully it turns early, but if it doesn't, Tonga's in the firing line, so that's the reason why we're mentioning Tonga in that update. So let's kick off with the forecast. Um, this is for lunchtime on Saturday, as the cyclone moves away from Suva away from um, Viti Levu and it moves closer towards Tonga. So this is about as close as we think it will get to Tonga as it tracks by to the south here. But as you can see, it only has to move a little bit further to the east and all that severe weather starts to move in. So right now, based on this one map from ECMWF out of Europe, uh, that shows a very close hit, but the worst of the weather out at sea. But like I say, if it just moves a little further to the east, that's quite a serious situation for Tonga. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's take a look now at the long range forecast for New Zealand right up to Christmas Day, and we will be tracking Yasa and what it might do. Now this year, we are not uh, issuing a big sort of detailed Christmas Day weather forecast. There's no real point when this system's coming down and every day the models are changing. But if you look at our forecast at Weather Watch and Rural Weather, the IBM supercomputer we use is crunching all of the world's models into that one forecast you see. So it's doing all the, all the work really for you and me. Um, so if you look at that, you'll see some places do have some rain showing up on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day in some of these northern areas. But for right now, we'll talk about Christmas in a moment, but for right now, as you can see here at the end of this week, there's the cyclone, high pressure, still over New Zealand. So lunchtime Saturday, again, uh, that's where the cyclone will be, and then New Zealand's got high pressure pushing out and across, so more of the same weather, although you'll notice the westerlies pushing through and they're going to be warm, subtropical in fact coming through. We're seeing a number of places very warm on Saturday, overnight lows in Southland and Otago around about the mid-teens and daytime highs in the east getting up into the low, even mid-30s possible in some of those eastern areas. By Sunday the winds ease a bit. The high is still in charge over the North Island, but there's another high down here. So not a lot of change going on as we head in towards uh, the end of the weekend. And then we get into next week, there's a little bit of wet weather coming out from Australia on Monday for the West Coast. Again, high pressure is stuck around the North. By Tuesday, not a great deal of change. High pressure over the North. You got a little bit of rain on the Western side there and warm winds still coming through. Subtropical winds coming down, you might start to notice the humidity uh, lifting up a little bit. Now by Wednesday, they're the remnants of Yasa. That's not a cyclone or a storm anymore, but it's 
See that red line? That's pulling down all that tropical air, that very humid tropical air. And there's this big northeast flow, which is building around the protective high, which is way down here, but expanding all the way up. And the way it's doing that line right there could be encouraging more humidity out of the tropics. So here is Christmas Eve. <laughs> Typical, right? So what you're seeing here is no storm anymore from Yasa, but what Yasa has done is kind of tear up the atmosphere and it's pulling down this moisture-rich tropical airflow. This is right up from Tonga, Fiji, Samoa, and coming down into parts of New Zealand. So it could get very humid with areas of rain or showers. Here is Christmas Day, based on this model. This is the GFS model out of America now, uh, and they are predicting some wet weather. Not everyone is predicting this. So this is why I'm showing it to you. I want you to see what, what we're seeing. High pressure is out here, high pressure is out there. That's encouraging dry weather. But with this little sort of gap between the highs and an X cyclone sitting here with a direct connection to the tropics, it's still up in the air what Christmas Day will be like in northern New Zealand. So we're going to be watching this closely. Now today was supposed to be my final video for the year, but we've decided because of this, we will do a couple of extra videos next week. So I will see you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.